airports. We all know that we need to keep our drones away from them, but what do all these red circles and areas actually mean? Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geek Savannah. Here you will find content focused on drones and tech, including this video, which is part of our series looking at the new UK drone rules. If you're new here and want more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And there is a link in the description below to the rest of our UK drone rules series. Today is going to be a quick video focused in on one topic. There's been a lot of recent posts and questions sent to Geek Savannah regarding the red circles and areas on many of the apps and websites drone flyers are checking before they fly to see if the airspace is safe. Many of you have been asking for clarification and I thought it would be useful to have this video for future reference. Hopefully by the end of this short video you will have a few more places to go fly your drone. For the purposes of this video I'm going to be using the Altitude Angel map at dronesafetymap.com because it is excellent. You can also get access to the same information via their app Drone Assist which is one of the apps you will all know I recommend regularly on Geeksvana. There are links in the description to both of these. Most airports have a flight restriction zone or FRZ around them. As you can see from this example on the map, these tube sign looking shapes represent the critical airspace around an airport to ensure the safety of air traffic within it. As you might expect with planes coming in and out at different heights and going through takeoff or landing procedures, this is a vulnerable part of the flight process which requires protection and the aerodrome air traffic control closely control all air traffic within this space. As this example on screen shows, the FRZ is made up of two parts. Firstly, the inner circle of the aerodrome traffic zone and the length of the runway protection zone. So here it is, pretty straightforward. Do not operate your drone in these zones for any reason, no matter the style, height or flight or weight of your drone. The only way this can happen is through pre-planned approvals with air traffic control for that airport. Moving to another example on the map, and here we have Southampton Airport and the clear FRZ, again made up of the circle and runway zones. This is the FRZ you must not fly within again. However, this wider red area covering a much greater area of airspace looks pretty concerning, especially marked in red and being around an airport. However, this is the CTR or controlled traffic region for the airport. Essentially, this is the zone where aircraft are also under the control of the aerodrome ATC to ensure they have a safe operating area to stack aircraft for landing. What does this CTR mean for you and your drone? Well, as Class D airspace, you are clear to fly your drone weighing up to 20 kilograms here without further permissions. You of course need to adhere to the drone code and ensure your flight is safe, but you do not need any further permission before lifting off. If this explanation raises other questions, please do let me know in the comments below. I read every comment and enjoy interacting with you all. This particular video is dealing with the FRZs and CTRs around airports, and I recommend you watch the rest of our playlist on the UK drone rules, which is linked in the description below to get a wider understanding. Coming up in this series, we have videos on situational awareness, privacy concerns, drinking and flying, and what to do when approached by people, which includes some free downloads to help out. So subscribe for more content on this subject, but also in the wider drone and tech area too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.